Hello and welcome, my name is Stephen, joining me today for a, well, for Type Rider First Impressions Friday video. Type Rider is a typographic game and instead of me explaining what it is, let me read what the developers, um, Art, um, the European Cultural TV channel, says about the game, what it is. Okay, so first off I'm going to the menu, then we'll click on About, and then the Introduction. Typewriter is a game which aims to explore typo typography through an interactive tra transmedia experience. It is available in three formats. Now, typography is basically fonts and text. Anyway, a video game for PC, Mac, smartphones and tablets. A social game on Facebook. Also, an interactive installation specially designed for educational and cult cultural references. These different media allow the player to live in a unique experience and dive into the heart of the history, styles and techniques of typography. typography. It's an adventure that reveals the meaning behind these incredible fonts, which some adore and others hate. After playing typewriter, you will never opt for a default font again. Well, that's what they say anyway. So, back to the game. The game itself, as you can see, I'm going to go show you guys the tutorial so you know how to play it. Um, the visual has, it's pretty basic, I mean the two black dots are used to move around with, but the artwork in the back is quite nice, I do enjoy it, um, I have played a bit of the game. Um, let me just go on to that, if I click on the banner now to view the unlocked content or hit enter, it shows me some information about cave paintings, which is prehistoric times. The first known existence of writing in census. Anyway. I know you guys aren't here for a history lesson itself on <laughs> typography or fonts or the alphabet, so onwards to the gameplay. As I was saying, the game contains some really impressive artwork in the behind, um, in the back, as you guys can see. And the controls are pretty simple. Basically, you move around left and right with your arrow keys, and then you use jump space to jump. Anyway, um, something to notice: the game does use basic physics engine. Um, to help with the puzzle solving as well as the well getting over the obstacles there's also an element of danger so you can die which is a bit of a problem but you don't get reset reset too far behind as i say i have to say i really 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 do like the visuals in this game it's really calming actually ah almost died there eh. Because you can see we're going from like a Japanese or Chinese to Greek to cave paintings and stuff like that. And also has a bit of wall jumping. Huh? No, I suck at that though. Hmm. Okay, got it. Awesome. So, the introduction's pretty short. Um, the tutorial rather, I say. Um, it just shows you the basics you need to complete the game. Which isn't really hard initially, but the game's difficulty does ramp up quite a bit and I do mean a lot I mean one of the achievements is finishing the game without or finishing a book without dying which is not that easy <laughs> I mean other than the introduction book which is a breeze okay origins has been completed next book okay so now we're going on to the real gameplay itself gothic okay origins nice so the next book to finish, or the one I have played so far, is Gothic. As you guys can see, the the scenery starts to change. Um, going through water has a different effect. The music becomes more awesome. And as you complete it, your tree becomes more full. So let's do Gothic. I have to tell you guys, it is a freezing winter currently here in South Africa and well, my hands are not enjoying that. Anyway, let's get this started. So, as you guys can see, the visuals are a bit different than the previous level, obviously. I really like the style, the gothic style of letters and the books used. Also, this music is really, really nice, even though it's really calming. And also very mystical, chanty type music. I really do like that. <clears throat> it's not like that Buddhist monk chanting stuff that you get um, like the Gregorian Masters of Chant. I don't know, I'm not really much bigger fan of that, but this is this is pretty nice, I have to say. Anyway, enough about that. Um, one thing 
Well, some news I have to share with you guys is I recently started a Patreon page. Now, if you're wondering what Patreon is, Patreon is basically like a crowd sourcing thing, um, like Kickstarter or GoFundMe, except it, it works a bit differently as you can support your the creators that you enjoy and the content they make so they can keep on you know, making the content that you love, obviously. So I started that, so I can keep my channel ad-free, so no more YouTube ads, so silly um, in-stream and pop-up ads, for me anyway, unless the content ID system decides to add them um, for some third-party content that someone else owns. So, no more ad revenue for me, sadly, yes. But good news, no more ads for you guys to see. Let's see if I can get up there. So I'm gonna put a link in the description for that, my Patreon page. If you do go if you guys like what I am doing and you want to support me, please go ahead. You can opt out of Patreon anytime, so it's not like a safe thing, and there is some rewards and some goals added to it. So I suggest please check it out and let me know what you think. I almost no I died there. That was bad. I'm just gonna wait for the lava. A bit of a whoop, that was close trap there. I have to say the visuals really really impressed me. I mean just look at this art and it makes for a bit of a difficult terrain to play with anyway. Okay good made it. As you guys can see the the the, the items are like books and typography stuff like this is a letterpress as the game says <laughs> and it is slowly going down on me and I'm going to die. I think I should stay here. I'm not gonna make it, am I? Is there a way to get out? Oh cool, it's going up again. Damn it, almost died there. Okay, let's go, let's go. Fuck, cannot, cannot get out. So you guys can see this game is really, really difficult. <laughs> Even though it does look like a bit of a relaxing breeze game. But luckily the levels are very short. I have to say the the use of of like um, puzzles is really really nice. I do enjoy it. I am enjoying this game. It's not like a third really hardcore action game, but it's it's actually quite fun. I have to admit. I mean, it's not going to take up hours of my life. I think this game is quite short to be honest, and I'm not going to get the mobile version of the game. But this is pretty decent. It's not the best, but for an educational title, it's, it has its moments. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. Let me know what you guys think of the game in the comment section below, please. And please check out my Patreon. Please subscribe and like to my like my video and subscribe to my channel if you please. And well, I'll see you guys again next time. Please, if you're looking for the game, I'll put the link in the description to the Steam link. And well, I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.